Hello, hello, everybody. Today, we're going to do something just a little bit different. Mainly because, well, the, I got peer pressured by the internet into getting Tears of the Kingdom. It looks like a really good game. But I, funnily enough, have never beaten Breath of the Wild. A long, long time ago, we definitely beat the main story of Age of Calamity Hyrule Warriors. That was a very fun time. I really liked, I really liked Age of Calamity. It was a very fun game. I should probably go back to it sometime. Not really on stream since, like, we beat the main story. It was very good and everything else was, like, DLC, but I don't know how to activate it nicely, so blah, 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 blah. But, yeah, Age of Calamity was a lot of fun. And I also really, really liked Breath of the Wild. But, uh, I, uh, I never beat it because I am a fool. I did, like, do a bunch of it, I think. Maybe not a bunch of it. A decent chunk of it, once upon a time, a million years ago. But I don't really remember too, 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 too much about, like, the specifics. So I decided, eh, screw it. I might as well see if I enjoy streaming Breath of the Wild, and then see about beating it, and then streaming Tears of the Kingdom. So why not? And of course we'll do a new game. Goodbye, previous save data. There is nothing precious there for me, I don't believe. So we shall continue. Yeah, because for some reason I just don't really remember all that much. I remember more about Age of Calamity than this game. But let us see. I know, like, some of the basics I remember. <laughs> Wait a minute, why is that like Arceus from Pokemon Legends Arceus? That's basically the same effect. That's hilarious. And I really like Legends Arceus. Not gonna stream that again. Mainly because I beat, well, yeah, I beat it on stream. I didn't get, like, the Super Duper 100% completion ending. Like, maybe I should do that sometime. But that's mostly just, like, mop up and then face God. It's blinding, so technically I think I already have. Open your eyes, as I have sight and I'm staring at the ceiling. Wake up, Lonk. I personally still think this game looks good. Hilarious, considering it was, like, originally designed to be on the Wii U. And then they were like, and now we're gonna spend an extra year polishing the physics of the sequel. To which, good for them. Remember when Breath of the Wild first came out? In goddamn 2017? God, that's so long ago now. Oh, so bloody long ago. Feels extra misty in here. Let's grab our tablet and be gone. Oddly enough, despite, like, I somehow have managed to avoid, like, all Tears of the Kingdom spoilers as far as I'm aware. <laughs> My long slumber. Yeah, you know, a hundred years. That is actually a kind of funny thing. A lot of the time, when we play as Link in these Zelda games, a mysterious tablet with glowing center. You've never seen this device before, and yet there's something familiar about it. But yeah, in most Zelda games, we play as a Link that is like just doing his own thing, only to be zibbity zapped into doing things going on an adventure <laughs> you can open your inventory I know but I want to get all my clothes first 
And now we don't look like a hobo. But yet in this game, we play as a link who has amnesia. Up to the pedestal. That will show you the way. It'll show you the way. You might hear some thunder in the background, maybe, if my mic picks that up. <laughs> Authenticating. Sheikah Slate confirmed. The Sheikah Slate is coming from within the cave. But actually, quickly jumping back to the funny similarity of Pokemon Legends Arceus. After, I am the light. But the light is right there, staring at me. Also, technically, aren't you more of the light with your powers? Don't you shine more than I do? Technically. And once again, my avatar placement has doomed us to not be able to see some of the UI behind my avatar on stream. Oh, well. Well, yeah. At least with this game, like, one sad thing about playing Pokemon Legends Arceus again is I had to make another, like, uh, a Switch profile because I didn't want to delete my main adventure, if only because the mystery gifts don't exist anymore. And yeah, this game just looks so good. Such a vista. And then decrepitness and doom and a man. Fear the man. And now we are on the Great Plateau. You can equip an item. Even though it's our auto-eclip. Auto-eclipped. Auto-eclipse of the sun. Of course, we gotta get all our random stuff, sneak up on that. Come here, beetle. Because we're going to need to get a lot of resources, I do believe, for the various quests in this game. Crouching increases your stealth. And right now that means... Ah, darn Hightail Lizard disappeared. And I got too close. All the beetles and the lizards are fleeing away from me. I can push this boulder. I can be a strong man. I guess it's just there to get player attention and be like, hey, you can do thing. Isn't wonderful thing to do. Utter majesty. Hello, old man. I'm first take your torch. Well then, just help yourself to that torch there. And how may I ask you a planning to use it? Who'd... <laughs> it's a secret. As a weapon. Innovative. However, this is probably best used to fight f light fires. If you need a weapon, you can find something better. Many beasts roam the land past this point. You can take my axe with you if you please, assuming you can find it. However, do not just swing it around without purpose. You must face your opponent and lock your sights on them. Thank you for the tutorial, old man. It is a bit strange to see another soul in these parts. Who are you? Me? I'll spare you my life story. I'm just an old fool who has lived here alone for quite some time. Not wrong. What brings a bright-eyed young man like you to a place like this? Where are we? Answering a question with a question, that is fair enough. As I cannot imagine our meeting to be a simple coincidence, I shall tell you. This is the Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. <laughs> what is clinking clinking? I guess it's your lantern. But it's amusing to me. Hmm. That temple over there. Long ago it was the site of many sacred ceremonies. Ever since the decline of the kingdom a hundred years ago... It is set abandoned in a state of decay. Yet another forgotten entity, 
a mere ghost of its former self. I shall take your apple. This apple is now mine. I beg your pardon. I do believe that it, that is my baked apple. You can't just go taking whatever you please. But this is a Zelda game. We go into people's houses and break all of their pots. That's the point of our existence, old man. Oh, forgive me. I could not resist pulling your leg. Please help yourself. An apple and an open flame make for a succulent treat. Never had baked apples myself. And now I have normal apples. I shall take all the apples this tree has to offer. Bequeath your apples to me, tree! First you have to find my axe. Oh yeah, it's not like it's over here. And ah, lizard. Come with me, lizard. You are mine. I will turn you into a thing, probably. Here, yeah, butterfly, be very nice. You will be mine, so I can turn you into ingredients. A butterfly found in the woods and plains of warm regions. Its wings absorb the warmth of the sun. Cook it with monster parts to create an elixir that can make you warm and fuzzy. Is that because uh, the fuzziness comes from it being a drug? Probably. I see that circle. Eh? How dare the world speak to me? Yes, world? Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah slate. On my iPad? What be in my iPad? Very well. Well, that's kind of interesting. My... Oh, it's... It, oh, that's actually interesting. It shows you the way that Link is facing and the way that your camera is facing. Neat. That is actually kind of interesting. And now we shall... Exude... We are not going for all the Korok seeds, because I'm not insane. Yaha! You found me! Oh, you're not Hestu. But you can see me? I didn't know your kind could see the children of the forest. Well, if you run into Hestu, please return this to him. This small seed was given to you by a Korok. It has a distinct smell. If you gather a bunch of them, you never know what may happen. Oh, and my friends are hiding in lots of different places, too. Don't be shy about poking your nose into suspicious places. And we are going to need to find a lot of them. Oh, we're going to need to find a lot of them to upgrade our inventory, if I remember correctly. Because I... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I do not know why I double sneeze. Rusty Broadsword. This once fearsome sword has seen better days. It can do some damage in the right hands, but it also breaks quickly. And then, for whatever reason, it's like, hey, you want to throw shit? <laughs> oh, you fool! Uh, the fish, how dare it actually run up to me and then run away? How dare it tempt me? These are dumb fish. Come on, butterfly. You are my elixir future. Probably. And we can't do daring movements just yet because we don't have uh, the, the, the parasail glider thing. Nor do we have good armor. I just love the vibes of this game. It's like Studio Ghibli post-apocalypse. Like, literally post-apocalypse. The apocalypse is over. Everyone rejoice. Hello, monster. I shall beat you to death with a stick. Almost with a stick. Ah, and I can take your own club and beat you to death with your own club, fool. You weakling, now you are dead. The severed horn of a Bokoblin. A creature often encountered on the plains of Hyrule. It isn't edible, but it can be tossed into a stew with some critters to make an elixir. 
If it's not edible, then how can it be made into something that is? I don't know, that just seems weird to me. It's not edible. Unless you cook it. You know, like a lot of things. Because that is basically how things are. Destroy the pots. Ma. Ha ha! I knew one of these had to have something. Give unto me your secrets. This is a Zelda game. If there are pots, there has to be things. But there's not much we can do here, so we should probably make our way over to where the Shaker Slate is telling us so that we can get a move on actually acquiring things to play the game. Darn. I wish I could just run at the butterflies and capture them. Make them my own. You make disturbing noises, my friend. No, we're not going to use that. We're going to use his own club. Well, his friend's club. Goodbye. Literally, goodbye. And then he explodes. Ah, better trousers. One, well worn, and then like normal. Hmm. One thing I should do is like, uh, let's see. Darn. I could have sworn I pressed the right button. Ah, but it didn't ex explode. Explode already. Darn. It had an apple, though. Can't wait to get to the bombs so I can just explode things. Luckily, I have another one. I have another club for destruction. You'll see nothing. Nothing at all. This is Gollum. I am in the shadows now, so you can't see me. Darn, how dare you. Get comboed, fool. And explode into grabbables. That's another thing. Like, I've seen some footage of that there golem game, and I'm just wondering, who in their right minds thought that that was a good idea? Like, sure, maybe it once, it, once it was in, like, the design phase, people like, oh, yeah, play a game as Gollum. That'll be super fun and nice. But then past a certain point, I'm honestly surprised they released it at all. There are more apples that we can attain to make our own, to steal from the world. And a Hyrulean Hy Hy orb, just out of nowhere. I said that extremely weirdly. Shut up. Darn. Come on, climb it correctly, Link. And I climb it, and then I just fall. Fine, keep your apple. Keep your secrets. Let's see if we can do Bokoblin Bowling. The obvious setup is there, but it is a classic. Bokoblin Bowling. The nation's favorite pastime. Because, of course. But this does make me wonder if... Ba ba ba. Tears of the Kingdom has better music. Not to knock this game. I personally like the vibes decently enough, but I also like good music. And I. And. <laughs> like I said. In. Hmm, that's odd. I, we were on the screen before, but then that time it played an animation. Interesting. Never knew that, but. <laughs> wonder why. Is it because my hands are empty and it's like, ah, we can play this animation? Interesting. But. Yeah, there's a reason why when I was playing Age of Cataclysm, I just went, hell yeah, the music is amazing. This is making up for all of the not music that we didn't get. Because seriously, the Age of Cataclysm soundtrack is amazing. 
If I wanted to, I could try and farm arrows from those guys. But even then, that only goes so far. Traveler's sword. And a Bokoblin shield. And arrows and dead people. My favorite mix. But yeah, if Tears of the Kingdom also has the majesty of good music, mm, it would be good. How did you hear me? How dare you have ears? That is illegal. It is illegal to have ears in Hyrule, don't you know? Especially when Link is about. Hmm, how did an arrow get there? We will go to the marker. I just want to roll more bokoblins downhill. Hmm. Uh, it won't pro it probably won't kill them, but let's make some explosions. Ah, it did kill them. Huzzah! Majesty. It also, like, destroyed everything else, but what are you gonna do? I'm honestly surprised that we can still c carry more weapons. Here I thought that my pain and misery would be eternal. And darn, I scared the butterfly away. If I remember, there's like, yeah, this pseudo, like, infinite run technique, or at least extending run. Ish, ish. Who knows if it actually makes you go faster. I'll probably continually forget to actually do it. Place the Sheikah Slate in the pedestal. Fine, you can have... <laughs> He's like, hmm, do I trust this hole? This technology hole? Sheikah's tower activated. Please watch for falling rocks. How do you know that? Also, come to think of it, like, if Age of Calamity, at least for a part, is true to, like, the original timeline of what happened a hundred years ago, like, the towers were activated. The towers were activated, and so that means that the towers were deactivated at some point in the intervening 100 years, which is fine enough, sure. But how did, like, rock build over the Sheikah Tower? Like, I'm no geologist or rock person. I'm no Goron. But surely it takes more than a hundred years to develop rock over like, existing structures. Distilling local information. But what if you drank that drop? Would the information go into your brain? Or would it kill you? Or is it purely symbolical? And now, we know of the land. Instant cartography. Remember. Remember what? I don't remember anything. For the past 100 years. I just woke up. How am I supposed to come to terms with that? Well, that sucks. What am I supposed to do about it? That is just a horrifying Ganon design. Now then. You must hurry, Link. <laughs> hurry, Link. All of the speedrunners. Cowabunga Ka it is. 
Because seriously, speedrunners of these games, they are terrifying. Well, now I have to leave. Uh, we will go down the way of not death. I wonder how many people are like, I'm gonna just jump, and then they died. Not realizing how tall these towers are. Were these towers even designed by people? Feels a bit cumbersome to, like, climb your way up. Ho! Ho! Yourself! How dare you call me a ho. My, my! It would seem we have quite the enigma here. This tower, like others, just like it, have erupted across the land. One after another. It is almost as though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. If you do not mind me asking, did you anything odd occur while you were atop the tower? I heard a voice. Well, now, a voice, you say? And did the voice happen to recognize... Indeed. I'm reading words out of proper order. And did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice? I see. Well, that is unfortunate. I assume you caught sight of that atrocity enshrouding the castle. That is Calamity Ganon. That vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin 100 years ago. I'm still reading things out of order because I am a fool. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very odd, the very odd, the very simple of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There it festers, building in its strength. So, my brain is melting for some reason. Building its strength. For the moment, it will unleash its blight upon the world once again. It would appear that moment is fast approaching. And how can you tell? Do you want me to go stop it? I must ask you, courageous one. Do you intend to make your way to the castle? Well, of course. <laughs> I had a feeling you would say that. Here on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs with no way down. If you were to try and jump off, well, no death would be more certain or more foolish. Ooh. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, that would be quite another story. Hand it over! Oh, certainly, why not? But there is no such thing as a free item in this world unless I steal it. I can always steal it. Let's see now. How about I trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? And what doth thou mean? <laughs> the isolated plateau! Open your log to do things. Come, let me show you something. All right, let's follow the old man. Are you going to show me the glowing thing? I already see it. Or, uh, oh, I was going to look out into... Oh, I can. Are you going to show me the flying doomsday device? That's kind of weird. I never noticed that you could, like, instill an animation like that. Do you see that structure there? The one shining with a strange light. It began glowing at the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. I do like... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if they also rose up from the ground, honestly. I would think such a place might have some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Treasure for the paraglider. A fair exchange, I believe. Well, if you say so, crazy old man. Crazy man, man. Man of craziness. But very well. Let us go on this fool's venture. Maybe raid that bokoblin camp. I see you, fish. If I had bombs, I would take kill you all. But I do not have bombs. Yet.
If only I had bomb arrows. But I see you. I could have sworn that they made the noise of like, Hark! A ma'am! Goodbye. Critical damage! Darn. I must destroy them all! How dare you punch me! How dare you punch me when I cannot even punch myself! They have boxing ring sounds in this world. Diddly diddly dee. But there is indeed the cooking that we can now do if we so choose. But let us see what majesty believes in you. A sword. My inventory is full. You are the fool, because I can throw this away. Huzzah! And then activating this, it seems that it disappeared. Oh, no. Nope. <laughs> it broke upon impact. Such is the way of the weak twig. I can pick up rocks. Forgot about that. Rock, can you destroy these? You are a failure. Some rock you are, you can't even destroy a box. I've just played so much Pokemon Legends Arceus that my brain is like, ah yes, press in the stick to be able to run. When in this game, this is run. Come to me, butterfly. Don't you dare run away. No running away. No! How dare you fly away? You're supposed to be parallel to the ground. A certain distance so that I might destroy you. Hey, hey, stop running away. You belong in my inventory so you may someday become an elixir. I forget how you, like, learn recipes or if you have to, like, remember them. I never did much of the cooking in this game. So that'll be interesting to rediscover. Up off we go. Into the tomb. The tomb of doom. The doom tomb. I see you, treasure chest. I shall soon grab you. Soon. Oh, man, ow. Oh, hey. Random EX chest. What doth you have? A red ruby. Let us activate you. Come forth. Sheikah Slate confirmed. You're damn right you are. Travel gate registered to map. Access granted. Then let me in. So that I might undertake the trials. Elevator time. <laughs> I like how Link is like, hmm, I'm gonna stand on this. And then be surprised when something happens from standing on this. Then again, he is from a hundred years ago, so who knows where his mind's at. Mystical, magical elevator of ancientness. This is like double ancient. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Omanau, o in the name of the goddess Hylia. Take this trial. Very well. Give me your secrets. Normally you'd think that you'd have to go all the way through a dungeon, then it gives it to your secrets. But no, this one is like gives its secrets right away. If you drank this droplet, would you become magnetic? Would everything fly to you and crush you to death? Congratulations, you have now Magnes. Manipulate metallic objects using magnetism. Huzzah! I wonder if you just get, like, plain old telekinesis in Age of the Kingdom. Ah, uh, the classic tune. I almost killed myself there. B 
be gone. If I wanted, I could, like, throw these over. In fact, I think I shall. Go forth. Make things happen. On the other side of the world. I fling you. <laughs> it landed perfectly, so if I wanted to, I could just... <laughs> well, then again, there are vents there anyway. I recreated what was already there. Hark, I am an AI tech bro. I just shove these blocks. Shove them out. I think I don't really need to do that. Can I smack you from here? I can smack you from here, you fool. You utter buffoon. Haha. -ha. Through the power of smick smack, I win. That's some shallow water, I think. And again, I could just, like, take my previously procured doors, even though they're down here. Come with me, doors. Make a full bridge. Although, considering that, like, uh, these are, like, they made the wall specifically, like, it seems to allow these through, this seems like it's the intended course. Damn. Or maybe they're too short. Maybe I'm getting coldly incorrect. Nope, I just put it on there weird. It barely fits. Come to me, treasure chest. Bring me your secrets. Traveler's bow. Huzzah. This is another reason why I want to go through these, like this game, so that I can have proper context to experience the sequel, to compare and contrast properly. Omen alternate universe. What doth you say? I could play one of you in Hy <laughs> Hyrule Warriors. A dead body, come back to life. Then again, you're not actually dead, you're just super meditating. You have proven to possess the resolve of a true hero using a tool to solve a basic bitch puzzle. I am Omen Owl, the creator of this trial. You are a very basic bitch <laughs> creator of trials. I am a humble monk, blessed with the sight of Goddess Hylia and dedicated to the cause, helping those who seek to defeat Ganon. With your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. Maybe that's why he made such a basic, like, trial. In the name of the goddess Hylia, allow me to bestow this gift upon you. Please accept this spirit orb. He's just like, use the rune I give you to do the most basic things. Ah, you have the resolve of a true hero for doing that. Spirit orb! A symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. What would happen if somebody not Link did these? May the goddess smile upon you. Would that just, like, mean that if some random person comes along and does a trial, that they get the spirit orb and not Link? Or does the, like, the poor monk sit there and go, Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> a tomb robber is here. Where did you even come from? It seems you managed to get your hands on a spirit orb. Well done. <laughs> Paraglider, please. How did you know? Clairvoyance, or oh, perhaps just something similar. As one gets older, it can become more difficult to see what's right before one's eyes. However, that which was once hidden from view can often be crystal clear. <laughs> But perhaps that is not true for everyone. <laughs> the appearance of those towers and the awakening of this shrine. That is all connected to that Sheikah slate you carry on your hip. <laughs> Paraglider, please. <laughs> if you want to just be a single-minded, like, goblin. What do you mean? 
It has been quite some time since I have seen that Sheikah slate, that one in particular, and already I have stumbled to my story because that Sheikah slate is a hundred years old. <laughs> Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. The great power of their wisdom saved this kingdom, time and time again, until it didn't. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago, or so it is said. It is interesting, however, to think how something like that survived all this time hidden away in a shrine. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places all across this land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. Bring me the treasure from each of these shrines, and I will give you my paraglider. So I need more now. I said treasure, but I never said there would only be one. Whether it's one treasure or four, what's the difference for a young go-getter like yourself? Since I'm feeling generous, I will also teach you a trick for finding shrines. It's always best to survey the area by looking around from a high point. Ah, yes, the basics. How about you make your way to the top of that tower again? <laughs> Got it. I admire your eagerness. But allow me to teach you something else before you go. Take a look at the map on your Sheikah slate. See those blue icons? You should recognize the cave where you awoke, the shrine you came from, and the tower. How do you know they're blue? I didn't even show you. Blue dabba dee dabba die. You can travel instantly to any of those places with the Sheikah slate. Or so I heard quite some time ago. I do not know if it actually works as such. Well, first things first. That treasure chest is mine. Come forth. I can pick up that big brock. Oh, and there's multiple down there. Come forth. I punch you. Amber in a treasure chest. Why? That is actually a question. <laughs> Who put these here? What are their purpose? But we shall do as he says, because why not? Hero's path mode unlocked. Press the X on the button screen to see your journey's path thus far. I think that actually, like, lasts a long time, if I remember correctly. It can show you many, 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 many hours of your adventure. The trail that you blazed. If you ever want to advance time, so you get a cozy campfire. But what if I want to not do that, but time still progress? I see you too also have the ability of teleportation. I'm surprised it took you so long. <laughs> Did you fly here? <laughs> so you think an old man like me needs to fly to stay ahead of you? I still have a few tricks left in me. Now then, I wanted you to join me up here so I could so you could use this as a vantage point to search for shrines. Did you know that there's about the scope on your Sheikah slate? Look through it, and you can stick a pin anywhere you'd like to mark on the map. Yep, I did know about that. The pins on your map serve as a reference points for your travels. Just stick a pin anywhere you're interested in. How do you know? <laughs> Just a few tricks I've picked up after many, many years in the wild. You know, tricks of the wild give you knowledge of technology. You may take my advice or leave it. Go ahead and take a look if you feel so inclined to do. Of course, we have one over there. One over there. And I do believe, yep, but one down here. And now I have to climb down. Having trouble finding the shrines? Bye. <laughs> oh, if you still wish to acquire the paraglider, you must put in the effort. Oh, not simply give it away, you see. He doesn't even give me... Oh, that was close. I almost died. Almost died again. Death is always near. On the Great Plateau. I wonder what the old man would do if, like, Link never left, if he just stayed on the Great Plateau. And he was just like, Great Gods, man! Hurry up and get out of here! 
go save the world! And Link is just like, nah. Apples. But let us run. Let us scour. Let us do things. First things first, we're probably going to try and explode everything in there. Because obviously, we can destroy... Here we go. I'm just going to take some aim. In fact, we're going to take one of these because they're more expendable. <laughs> Get exploded! Darn. Quit raising your head. I want to kill you. Big on. Batses. Key swing. I do rem I do like that they actually used the names they had from the original game. The wing of a keese. It's covered with very short fur, sharp fur. It's not much use by itself, but you can mix it with critters. To kill things. Hello, young man. He actually lit it on fire. What an enterprising little beast. No. How dare you. And now I am the one with flames. And I shall take that before it explodes in flame. I wonder why the treasure chests are like, You can only take me if you kill my masters. Although I guess the explosions, uh, like, destroyed all the resources I could have gotten from everything else. Oh, nope, there's some up there. Flame arrows. Obviously, we will hoard them. And probably never actually use them. Goodbye, Boko Club. We shall take these resources because we can. Other people join Tears of the Kingdom. I will join you someday. I first need to beat this game. I probably won't, like, obviously I'm not going to go for full 100% super duper completion. But I will try to do, like, a decent number of the shrines and stuff, if only to get, like, the... Ba ba ba, what is it? The, uh, the, the, the health and, uh, the stamina. You know, the basics. Gotta get all these ancient stuff, because these are gonna be valuable in the future. Woohoo! Random. Ancient sprung. Ancient Scrawl. How do you even know I'm here? Be gone, Satan. Likewise, how do you know I'm here? Be gone, actual Satan. I just want the key swings. Hmm. For some reason, my brain is telling me that there should be, like, an EX chest here somewhere. Well, speak of the motherfucker. It's been five billion years, but a part of me still remembers. Ha! <laughs> of course. Nintendo branding. Don, how dare you hit me? I shall also take your arm. And I shall now beat you to death. Oh, I can't pick it up, darn you. I wanted to use your friend's arm to kill you. I shall take your arms. It is the ultimate weapon. Give me more of your horns. I'll need them for potions someday. And we've already seen this opening before. It is kind of creepy that the arm continues to wriggle. I wonder if you could use the arms as decorations on creating machine things in Tears of the Kingdom. And you know, that just made me realize, because I remember somebody jokingly say, lol, Tears of the Kingdom is Banjo-Kazooie, nuts and bolts, I'll return, 
To you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Jabaj. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. But, yeah, bomb trial. Oh, you wouldn't say. But, yeah, somebody jokingly said Legend of Zelda is just Banjo-Kazooie nuts and bolts, which on one part is kind of true because of, like, the building aspect, but on the other hand, isn't true because Banjo-Kazooie nuts and bolts was basically just that. It was the base of a HD Xbox 360, like, uh, Banjo-Kazooie game, but with a Lego create -a cart slapped over it and made the focus. The force of the blast can be used to damage monsters or destroy objects. These are both round and- there are both round and cube bombs, so use whichever fits the situation. That is kind of smart, because if you just had circular bombs, like, that could be annoying if you wanted them to stay still. Explosions. So yeah, basically, while this is, like, the next game, Tears of the Kingdom, has, like, a build function. Well, you're already about to die, so goodbye, friend. But yeah, while Tears of the Kingdom has construction elements, it is still, like, Breath of the Wild 2, just with build elements. Whereas... Nuts and Bolts Banjo-Kazooie was essentially... Hmm. I am a fool. We shall use this. And uh, place you here. Deliver the bomb for me. The day Link became a terrorist. Ah, you can't destroy me bomb of my own creation. I was on a platform. It would have been amusing if it actually did go boom and kill me like the fool I am. Why can't I use square bombs in the, the bomb launcher? Shouldn't I be able to do the wonders of magic and doom with square... Ah! Well, at least I knocked it off. Darn it, it gave me... Either I've had... I have been missing a quarter of a heart, or I've just only now noticed. Either one could be true. Yes, yes, yes. Take care of this for me. But yeah, either it was the fall damage... Or I've always been damaged. Launch me! You're going to have to touch me! And it was not the launch damage. I've been missing a quarter health heart for a while. Amber! I wonder why we can't climb these walls. They're too industrial. They're too mystical. But why do we even have you? What's your purpose? Are we just here to play soccer with you? Because technically that implies that there is an existing purpose for you. That you are bouncing back and forth. Either that or you're just here to teach players, Hey, you can launch shit! If the context clue of a pipe going directly in... Like, we not only need context clues, we need an example. That's entirely possible. Yo, beige! I brought ya ball! I wonder what is that seal keeping him there? Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Am I just really taking your soul? As currency, because I know what these are. These are the give me more heart or stamina bubbles. Hmm. Spirit orb. If I really wanted to, like, maybe I could try that, 
like uh that like little exploit glitch where you can get the master sword without like killing yourself super early maybe who knows probably not ho ho no ho ho oh, i thought he was going to greet me damn bastard I wonder if my bomb can destroy you. It can, very slowly. That should cause ba like explosions against you. I whistle in your face. But fine, since you have skelly friends, I won't bother you anymore. Why is there just a dead end here? Like, maybe this was a room, but then where's the roof? Either way, we shall, I guess, head that way next. Because the other one is in the randomly frozen mountain area. This is the Great Plateau. We have, like, three seasons here. All at once. We must climb. We must venture. We must kill. We will sneak up on that camp and kill everyone there. Take their shit. <laughs> that would be a dark, like, possibility. Some random travelers found themselves on the Great Plateau, and they're like, Oh, I can't believe we got here. And then, in the shadows, there's Link, wild, rabid, ready to kill. Hmm, I don't think we need... We'll use the rusty sword. How dare you exist? How dare you take a weapon up against me? Ah! Maybe we can... Hey, bees. I think I ruined it. Darn. I wanted to burn the bees, not the beehive. I am but a fool. More apples. Woohoo, yes. Random owl. Come to me, mushrooms growing on from a rock. How does that even work? Rush room. A mushroom that can grow almost anywhere, but prefers ceilings and sheer cliffs. Cook it before eating to temporarily increase your movement spawn. If I remember correctly, there's a quest where you need like 50 of these. Fear of the fetch quest of this game. I like how he just lives like right next. Right next to entire thighs. Stamina shroom. He is asleep. Let us read his <laughs> journal while he sleeps. Read the old man's diary. On this desolate plateau, the only pleasure that brings me comfort is cooking. And today I outdid myself. Truly, I created the perfect dish. I call it spicy meat and seafood fry. This recipe not only restores health, but it also keeps me warm, even when traveling in the snowy mountains. With this dish on my side, I no longer have the need of that itchy, warm doublet. I do not know how I allowed this to happen, but it seems I forgot to write down a very important recipe. I knew it contained raw meat and spicy pepper, however, I simply cannot remember what I used. My age is catching up to me. Sadly, on this lonely plateau, I have only my own knowledge and memory to rely on still. If I did someone, if I did find someone who knew the missing ingredient, I would happily reward them with my warm doublet. However, it seems unlikely that such a miraculous wish will ever be fulfilled. Spicy pepper. Spicy pepper is exploding with spice. Yes, I think that is what is implied here. More axe. I'm surprised that didn't wake him up. And a pot lid. I will do the most majestic evils the world had ever seen. 
How dare the bird scare away the lizard? That lizard was mine! We shall annihilate this poor fool. We should probably get closer so that they have less time to run for their weapons. That was directly your goddamn head, you fool. <laughs> Go flying, fool! Darn, I hit myself. In my eagerness to destroy, I almost destroyed myself. So we shall take some baked apples. Die. Bomb. But that also means that we need to find raw meat for the spicy seafood fry. What will you be, weapon? Throwing spear. I don't really like spears anyway. You can stay there as like an emergency thing, I guess. Explosions! Hey, be gone, Satan. Kind of odd that only spinning attack works against them. Come to me, Cursor Beehive. Your honey is now mine, through violence. Who needs to appease bees when you can just take their knees? Yep. And of course, we should also blow you up. Because you might have things. Like apples. The perfect thing for destroying things. Well, now that we have bombs, we can go and do the horrible fishing d technique of destruction. Get some fish. Go to that forest that presumably will have some kind of thing to kill for meat. And then make him a spicy seafood fry. Or potentially fail at that. Oh, hey, it's a boar. Give me your meat. Feed me your meatses. So now we just need... Haha, <laughs> you ran into it, you fool! You stupid squirrel! I've got your acorn now! Your acorn is mine! Now I will be satiated for the winter. For some reason that reminds me that squirrels' stupidity are the reason why there's so many trees. At least in some places. Squirrels will bury so many acorns and they'll forget where they put them that those acorns can then become trees. Isn't nature beautiful? But we will need that warm doublet, so off to random places of water that we can find. Ah, and a random chest that I did not see. You might not have any fish, but you have a chest. Open sesame! <coughs> More amber! But what is it for? Is it for killing people? That would be amusing. Link finds a way to create poison and starts killing people that way. We must adventure across this. We could have just teleported, probably. Here, little butterfly, fluttering on the floor, your wings will be mine, and your life will never more be existence. You are now dead. Ha ha. But I do love that 
one of the divine beasts you can just see eternally flying around mocking you. Ah, you're too weak to kill me. It screams. If I see any fish, they shall get the explosion. I could have sworn there was like a small puddle. Ah, the small puddle of superfish is over here. Let's destroy the environment. <laughs> Fish attained, environment destroyed. Now, I probably should have done that one first, because then I could have teleported them be closer to the old man. Darn. Hmm. Can I shoot a butterfly? I can! It just destroys it, though. Why can't this be like Skyrim, and I kill the butterfly, and I get its wings on the ground? <laughs> that also now reminds me... Of the amusing tale of the glitch that haunted the Skyrim opening during development. Because, like, apparently there's like this one guy whose like entire job was to just look over the opening. Ah, very energetic critic. Good critic. Ah, yes, we found the nostalgia critic hopping in the grass. Kill him! Cook it with monster pots to create a stamina covering elixir. This is like the best way to find some materials. There are crickets, there are lizards. This is the only way to find them. And I think there's like a quest that requires like many crickets. When it comes to like the super grindy quests, I'll probably do those off stream just to spare people the misery. But what was I saying? I was saying a thing. And then got distracted. Because I remembered I had a sword and could do this now. Ah yes, the glitch that haunted the opening of Skyrim. Because there was this one guy whose job was basically to replay the opening of Skyrim a million times to make sure it functioned properly. Because you know, this is Bethesda. And they probably knew of their lot in life. And were like, okay listen, we need to be able to at least get people in the door of the game without a glitch happening too often, or else it'll scare everyone away, and the lol Bethesda be glitched joke of the evil worlds will forever haunt us. So, yeah, this guy's job is just look over the opening again and again and again, but for whatever reason, with no rhyme or reason, that he could as so far as believe, sometimes the opening cart will just go crazy, and flip out. Sometimes literally. And they, he and nobody else really knew why until they discovered it was because of a bee. Because a bee is a collectible item in the game, if you picked it up. It also had, like, collision. And that almost just, that probably whacked a bunch of life off my sword. How dare you, tree. When you garden so hard, you lower the frame rate. But yeah, it was because a bee in Skyrim had tangibility. And due to that tangibility, it utterly destroyed the opening experience. Until they finally learned that and I think made it so that the bee did not have collision anymore. And now we'll have to make a spicy seafood fry. But I don't know how much of it, each ingredient you need. <laughs> Frolicking through the, f the forest of doom. Frolic, frolic. Kill the bird! Ah, oh, it flew away. The bird knows its place now. It knows me. It fears me. I wonder where the old man is. Oh yeah, he's like over there, down by the tree. No, I don't want to do that. Alright, because I need to hold items. So let's do one you. 
cold, not eat. Doot. And uh, fish. Cook. Bing, bing, bong. I have made a thing, dear lord. Check meal's ingredients by selecting it from your inventory and then select recipe. Nice. And this is him just uh, teaching you you can cut down trees. Fancy that, so we meet again. What are you doing? I thought this tree might make good f some good firewood. However, getting a tree to fall exactly where you want is quite an art. The trick is to turn your hips so that they face where you want the tree to land. So, I see you found my axe. Why not help me out and give it a few swings? I'm working up quite a sweat, but these bones could use a break. Fine then. Hey, I'm doing as you proclaimed, old man. And I got one wood. I see you did my work for me. Wonderful. Go ahead and take some of that wood for yourself. Don't be shy now. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm heading home. I can't offer you much. But on the solid roof and good company, but you're free to join me. Hmm. If you need to take a rest, go ahead and use my bed. If you wouldn't like a fireside nap, sleeping as a proper bed should really rejuvenate you. I think we need to wait for him to, like, actually go all the way back. And then maybe we can be like, hey, your thing. Or maybe we need to hold it out for him. What makes a Korok leaf a Korok leaf? Well, I guess while we wait for him to get here. Hopefully we don't have to cook it in front of him. I only have so many ingredients. Darn, that's not what I want. I want to see if I can just cook a bunch of apples. Ah, simmered food. Interesting. Is that any better than the individual apples? Yes, muchly. I see those shrooms and they shall be mine. Mario will not be able to know me. Hmm. Ho oh. ho! What are you doing? Done. So, I do need to make it in front of him. I'll wait for him to, like, sit down. And then I'll surprise him. With the old 1-5. So first, hold. Don't accidentally eat one of our only things. Now this better impress you, old man. This better do it for you. Damn you. Come from bottom takes a while. If you're hungry, have a pot and make your soup. I, I cooked something. Yay! I cooked it for you. Wait, who's that? That looks just like my signature perfect dish. Spicy food and seafood meat fry. But how did you... Well, I suppose that's not important. Can I trouble you to share the recipe? Ah, of course, Hyrule Bass. How could I have forgotten? Well done. Now please allow me to return your culinary efforts with this warm doublet. A warm pullover typically worn by mountain folk. Its sturdy fabric and thick gloves are great at retaining body heat. With that, you'll be able to resist the cold bit by the bite of cold environments. As for me, I know a great spicy meat and seafood fry recipe, so I can do without that warm doublet. And now we are going to wear that because why not? It looks nice. I look spiffy. <laughs> And now we are going to go up to that shrine. Up to that shrin. And hopefully not fall off to our doom. I remember the old interview that said that Miyamoto spent like... The entire time playing his first impressions of this game. Just climbing trees, which is hilarious. Let's go ahead and cut this down so we can... Dang it. 
Get those apples. Give me those apples. All these apples are mine now. And apparently a restless cricket, somehow. Good for you, cricket. You're now mine. Ha 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 ha. I toss at thee. Please don't be a weapon. Fire arrows. But going forth also reminds me of the fun little thing. Like, when this game first came out, everybody was like, Oh my god, weapon durability. I personally don't mind the weapon durability. It fits the theme of the game quite a bit. Sure, it might be a slightly annoying, annoying mechanic at times, but I don't think it's terrible. You just need to think a bit more and not go crazy like me sometimes. Especially late in the game when you need to, like, really hold on to your hard-hitting weapons. But I like the vibe of it, of the destroyable weapons. To me, it, like, it really depends on how the destruction of the weapon occurs. Because, like, Oblivion's durability system and, like, even the durability systems of the, like, uh, Fallout games, they kind of annoyed me. But I, but this one, it doesn't bother me too much. Because weapons become a resource that you really, like, discard and draw, basically. As opposed to those games where it's like, this is a very important weapon to you. Hope it don't break. So long as it stops from being an annoyance too much, things can be good. And I don't think the durability mechanic in this game is that annoying. Granted, it can be quite subjective of an opinion of whether or not you think it really is a make-or-break deal with it. But like I said, it definitely fits the vibe of the game, of a world on the brink of destruction. I forget, what does this... Ah, I think this will be stasis, yeah. Oh, a diam. I open you. I command you. Take me to your inner depths of secrets. Teach me your things, little man. Who is a monk. Kind of dead in this tomb. Also, that's another thing. All of these, like, Sheikah monks, like, created these trials rather than, like, use their expertise to, who like, prepare the world for the cataclysm. Why make machines that will help people when we can make trials for a random guy someday? Give me the power of Zawaruto. Stop the flow of time for an object. Stops an object in time while storing its kinetic energy. The stored energy will act upon the object when the flow of time resumes, making good use of the stored energy. Granted, time stopped right there, so... Hiya! That day, that Link became... Dio. Alright, that's kind of weird that it, like... Oh, it's because it was still recharging. That's why. Darn you, recharge. How dare you let me actually, like, look around and do things. If I can't actually use you. How dare... But there's an item in there, and I'm going to get it, probably. It'll probably turn out to be a weapon, because the world is cruel. Victory is mine. Traveler's shield. 
Let's see, what shields do I not care for? They are all the same. Give me! Give me the shield! Where you make a perpetual, like, kinetic motion machine of magic. Instead of actually helping the people of the world. The sledgehammer is now mine. Be gone, big ball. Now feed me your secrets, monk man. Explosions. Your resourcefulness of using them as resources I gave you is quite impressive. Stealth tip, it's hard to hear footsteps when it's raining, making it the perfect time to sneak up on some monsters. Some monsters. I like the loading bar. It's basic, but it's nice. Now let's wander about the, the up here now. Because why not? But now that I'm playing this again, for some reason I'm also struck with the want to play Hyrule, like, uh, Hyrule Warriors. Ah. Convenient that it led me right here. I guess I could zippity do it that way. Maybe. We'll replace you. We'll have to climb down. Or fall. Of course, we shall take bombs, so that we can explode fools. You hear nothing. Oh dear, I was going to destroy you. Oh no, he's keeping himself warm while attacking me. I shall walk around you, but there's nothing you can do, because all you know how to do is shoot an arrow. He didn't even drop any arrows. What a cheapskate. We'll have to destroy you for their sins. And of course, give me this arrow that is right over here. And whatever's inside you. Here, apples. Apples for me. Do we have a... Yeah, we have a bucko. Schmack. Schmack. Just wanna, like, record that. I see you up there. Are they for me or are they for them? It seems like it's for them. Then we'll have to oblige. You see nothing. You know nothing. Your doom will soon fall upon you like a giant rock. Multiple giant rocks. And it looks like that guy just went to bed. Good for him. Goodbye. That didn't go boom. How dare. Maybe this will go boom. Go boom already. Time for stealth. Yeah. 
It is me, your doom. Somehow all of the explosions missed. How? I do not know. There were just explosive boxes everywhere. One of them went rolling down the hill. Don't, uh, don't ask me how an explosive barrel just decided to roll down a hill instead of explode. But that's just how things go up here in the frozen north. But I also remember... I saw a dude begin to take a nap up here. And he looks scary. So we'll need to equip our most deadly weapon. Something we stole from somebody else. Don't wake up. You better not. Keeping an eye on my stealth meter Goodbye. And of course, we shall drop you and take the better shield. Ah, Bokoblin guts. Rare material obtained by defeating a Bokoblin. Because nobody in this world knows what it means to just shank a bitch. Just roll up on a dude, kill him, take his guts. Nobody knows the secrets art of that. Apparently. Diddly dee, diddly dee. There's a waterfall. We must go through the frozen north. Let's see. Hmm, why does it seem like there's something interesting up there? How dare you tempt me? Now I must know what's up here. Will it be interesting or will it be my doom? Calamity Ganon is just chilling up here for some reason. Ready to kill unwavering fools of curiosity. It's just the dude. It's the old man. How'd you get up here? The fierce cold atop these mountains can take quite a toll as the night sets in. Oh, <laughs> breathtaking view. This may be the best place to get a full view of the entire plateau. Use your scope for shrines. When you locate one, place a pin on your map to mark it. I got an opal at this kind of nut shrine. But neat. Somehow I didn't break my legs. The power of imagination. If you imagine your legs aren't broken hard enough, your legs won't break. That's just how the world is, Billy. Hmm. I forget how you do that. Oh, there it is. Shield serve time. Woohoo! Be gone, Keese. How about you give me your eyeball? It did. Who finds it fun to look at a like a plucked eyeball? A sociopath? I thought that was right in your head. How dare. I don't fear you. Oh, so they were expecting me. They threw down the 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 snowballs thinking they killed me. But apparently they did it. Also their uh necklaces are like uh anti gravity. And now they're all dead. I didn't mean to set that on fire. How dare you? 
But yeah, it's like... They must be the record winners for being able to just... slippity doo -da, Throw things down a mountain and then go to bed. Talk about fire and forget. They went fire and go to sleep. And now we go into the frozen depths of doom. Mount Doom. Where we must fight the worst thing of all. Glitchy Golem gameplay. Give me your power, oh magical droplet of information magic, technology. Again, I wonder what even is that? That's not any kind of data transfer that I've seen. And there's still yet another... Like, rune we don't have. We, of course, have, like, uh, the amiibo runes. But I don't have that many amiibo. I activate thee. <laughs> you have done as expected. Good. I dare. I'm trying to do things. It doesn't know where I am anymore. I was hoping to flip it. I dare it not want to be flipped. I wanted to flip and dip it. Ah, fine. We'll do it properly. Give in to me your magic. It's only like a, a a power three spear. Nobody cares about you, spear. I shall activate that. And then activate you. And then hope that we can climb. Damn it. Maybe we can make a third one. We can! No longer, damn it! Through the power of partial dammits, we have won the day! Now give me your soul and fade and die, old man! We know the song and dance. You're a source for loss. And now I can die. Make a campfire. Kill people. Learn how to make napalm using the anarchist's cookbook. Ho! Oh. Oh. From where? From nowhere again. With this you have now acquired all the spirit orbs from the shrines on this plateau. <laughs> oh, extraordinary. That means it is finally time. Link, it has finally come for me to tell you everything. But first... Imagine an X on your map with the four shrines as the endpoints. Find the spot where those lines intersect. I shall wait for you there. Do you understand? Where two lines connecting the shrines would cross, there I will be waiting. And then it was revealed the old man was a ghost. And of course, the obvious, we should probably explore a bit more because we didn't even explore any of this. Well, I guess I'm going to just... Mm, eh, we can try and cross the River of Dread. 
Let's try and cross the River of Dread. Why not? We went a weird way. Why not try to go the proper way for once? Well, I get the feeling the old man didn't like me going, Oh, I'll just uh, wander about a bit more. So he sent ghost snowballs after me. More snowballs of doom after my soul. How dare they? I am but an innocent twink. I keep hearing crashing behind me, but I refuse to look. Ow, bastard. Double bastard. I shall take your white choo-choo jelly. Maybe it has some purpose in life. Like murdering people. Get away from me, Satan. No one loves you. And that one gave me two white choo-choo jelly. You mean I'm at a deficit of multiple choo-choos? Hmm, and it seems the game is upset that I went the wrong way. Well, fine then, game. If I went the wrong way, I shall teleport to the Shrine of Resurrection. And disintegrate myself, apparently. Link tries to teleport instead it just disintegrates him and everyone loses. And plus, now that we're back here, we can explode those boxes we couldn't destroy earlier. Hello, shrine. I've come back to take the boxes. How dare they not have anything. This is an affront to Hylia. How dare the boxes of a 100-year-old shrine not have anything in them. Hmm. But before we do anything, we shall. Now. Well, we're not going to climb down. We probably wouldn't survive. We shall explore the forest a little bit. Because there are things down there. Probably not things that we can kill. Because I do think I remember like a stone talus being there. But that's not really something that we want to mess with. Give me the apples. And then maybe we can use some apples to make like some basic foodstuffs. Ah, flint. It's like, hey, you want to make fire? We can get some resources, find some stuff, maybe see an inevitable, obvious boss battle arena that we refuse to engage with, some explodable explodables. The wind. Give on to me, your soul. You'd think that amber would just come out of it. And not like... Just be in a chest. It seems like multiple steps for the, like, the same result. I use bombs to harvest things from stone. And instead I get a chest that holds something that would would have been in stone. Magical, ain't it? Blue nightshade. We can use that to poison people. Darn, I am a fool. I wanted to destroy the fern, but the fern said fuck you. I didn't even mean to do that. It ran right at me. It wanted to die. Wait, I see you. Inevitable stone talus boss fight. We need to get closer.
Prepare for death. Your body is now mine. I see you. We will play a game then. The game of randomness. Tutorial of find me. <laughs> Give me your Korok self. Darn you. Wow, you're a fast little bastard. How dare you hit me when I'm hitting you? That is illegal. Be gone. Schmeck. I kind of like that delay. I smack the ground. The shockwave goes out. He steps into the shockwave, flies up into the air. Thus is the magic. Die already and give me your meat. Give me your soul. And let me guess, you're going to be a weapon. Now it's Opal. I can't believe it surprised me by not being something useless. I wonder what the point of this is. Maybe we can put a bomb here. But what if we just climb a tree? Just climb this thick bitch. The tree, it beckons, but what is at the top? Nothing! Absolutely nothing! Stupid! You are so stupid! And somehow I didn't take fall damage. Imagine that. Imagine dragons. Darn, that should have been your head. But through the magic of... You having stunned, been stunned, I could kill you. Isn't that amazing? When something is unaware of itself, you can kill it. I would try and sneak up on these guys, but they already know that I'm here. They are psychic. Let's see, do we just have a normal Boko? Well, this is about to die anyway. Get smacked up the head, fool. And of course, we shall traverse along the way of all the enemies being dead. That is one feature I do like about Breath of the Wild. That you can kill enemies and they stay dead for relatively a decent amount of time. Normal choo-choo jelly. Such is the majesty of the world. I can't we f can't believe we found the origin of Gatorade's cool blue. It was sentient things all along. Then again, is a choo-choo jelly really sentient? I saw the shadow. Like, that, that Korok is just, like, in a shadow. So, for a moment, I'm like, what horrid spawn of demon is that? Yep. It doesn't have to make sense. It just has to work. More opal. We keep finding Steven Universe characters. I don't think that there was a Steven Universe character called Amber. Le Temple of Tim. The Temple of Tim, obviously. It beckons me. 
How dare you all come back from the dead and hold nothing. You bastards. Let's see what Hylia has to offer to us, or rather what we have to offer to Hylia. And the statue, it spreckens. You have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs. I can offer you great power. It appears you have claimed four spirit orbs. In exchange for four spirit orbs, I will amplify your being. Hmm. Well, if you're not dumb, you can get quite far with three health vessels for a while. But getting a bit more stamina would be nice. I'll have to go and do a bunch of shrines to get more heart container stuff, but I'm going to go with stamina. Yes. Grant you the power you seek. It's bigger than my head. The size of your stamina wheel has been increased, allowing you to perform more actions before getting tired. Go forth. Bring peace to Hyrule. Yo-ho, indeed. The blessing of the goddess has made you that much more resilient, I see. Here I am. Get up here, quickly. I mean, if you're a ghost and you're this physical, why can't you go fight Ganon? Like, seriously, you're a ghost. Yet you're physical and you can do things. Which just means that you're, like, immortal and should be able to go kill him. Go kill Ganon, old man. Go kill Ganon, old manin. We must go to the ghost. Go to the ghost man. Tell me your secrets, old menin. And then suddenly speech. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. <laughs> he I turns out to be Ganondorf. Bosporamus Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule. A kingdom which no longer exists. But will we be able to recreate Hyrule? I mean, after all, there needs to be tears of a kingdom next time. The Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, lo, a century ago. Ah, you wanted to rhyme on a dime. That my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. Zelda literally so said, Yay, Link, remember, you're a hundred years old, so I don't really think it matters. Forgive me. You are forgiven. You I wear a crown even in death. Ready. ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. For some reason, this makes me want to go back and look at, like, the reaction videos to the Breath of the Wild trailers. It's been a long time. That would be nostalgia. generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales but there was also a prophecy a prophecy the signs of a resurrection of calamity ganon are clear are they the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground so that the means that the sheikah people stuff people had to have been buried underground and then a prophecy made about the stuff buried underground it wasn't long discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the divine beasts, All those people should be dead. That was very, very improper. Also found the guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout 
望。We also learned of a princess with a sacred power, and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. Seals Today, the darkness. We sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power, and a skilled knight at her side. But I was an asshole, was and so she could not actually attain her destiny. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and task them with the duty of piloting the divine beasts. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The champions of the beasts. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. And then some bullshit happened and everyone died. If it's basically nothing more than, like, a beast, how could it have a plan? Seems very silly. ...from deep below Hyrule Castle, seize control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts, and turn them against us. The champions lost their lives. So, you technically mean that if they had just not like messed with the with them they wouldn't have risen to kill us all however the princess survived somehow if armies were devastated how could she just walk up to the castle? Seriously. How do you know she's not dead aside from the fact that the series is named the after her? This was my own daughter. My dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. His name was Zack. He's not that you. Knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you are taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years. Does this technically mean that this is the oldest Link? You have been hearing since Unless you technically want to count the hero's shade, but I don't think he counts. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself. And nothing will stop him from consuming our land. But what if we went back in time and stopped it from happening? No right to ask this of you, Link. <laughs> that would be interesting. Powerless here. If that was a DLC for this game to tie into Age of Calamity. My daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. How is that even possible? I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko Village. There you will find the Elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Sheikah slate for the precise location of Kakariko Village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. <laughs> I do like that. The they give you an actual, like, guide there. Verbally, like, yeah, go do it. Little boy. Hmm. Go on. Here's the paraglider, just as I promised. I got the majestic paraglider. Complete. With that, you should be able to safely fly off the cliffs surrounding this area. And I think that's it. 
I've told you everything I can. Link, you must save Hyrule. So you just hang around for a hundred years to help me? Not really. I want to climb to the top. So I can get a bigger vantage point of the world. I see another shrine over there. Well, actually, we'll take this one off, maybe. Hmm. Because that one's kind of out of the way, but at the same time, it feels so close. But I wonder if I can even do it, because some of the later ones are, like, mean. Uh, we'll leave it on there as, like, a possibility. There's just, like, stuff to do over there. Of course, the other one. But it's past the Twin Peaks. Which are over that away. Well, first things first, we're gonna go do that other one. Because we can. And now we can fly! Fear my power, for I can now fly! <laughs> Bombs will rain from above! And all of you will die. Or whatever. But as we adventure, let's take a look around the various, like, little lakes. See if there's, like, fish or things in there that we can magnetize. Because you never know. Come back, butterfly. You must die for your sins. I know this game. It is put it in the bucket. Give me your treasure, little man. Well, that's mean. I was climbing it and decided to break. How dare. Bastard. It lied to me. It stole my bananas. How dare it. Well, fine. I'll eat some cooked steak. Cooked stacker. And we shall make this a very careful journey then. Because this is made by monsters who wish to hurt me. You better be things I can take. Fire and ice arrows. Good for you. But just to make sure, there are a few times when even not so blatantly revealing diddly dees are out there in the world. Chests that are just hidden in mud by a mean game that steals all my stamina for no reason. How dare you? That's my stamina. I worked hard for it. Hmm. Horses. Maybe we can try and Take one for my own. Surprise from above! You are a very weak horse, aren't you? Hmm. 
Hmm. I wonder what that is. It is just more Korok. I'm going to imagine those get horribly fast sometime. Out to eat my soul. You will be my friend. Listen to me and run away from enemies faster. Go into the doom area. You're not scared of squirrels, are you? Because there was like a building over here, I think. I wanted to check it out. Uh, this horse is very hard to steer. Bomb arrow! You are an uncooperative horse, aren't you? Honestly, I am annoyed that that didn't kill all of them. That was a bomb arrow, and it did a quite a lot, actually. Thank you. And of course, we'll set that back to normal, so we don't accidentally be like, we're going to snipe this monster, and then just get blasted in the face. No one believes in you. You are going to get us hurt even more if you don't do as I command, horse. Like, just there. You almost killed us. How dare you. I want to explore this. How dare you exist in my world. Hello, fox. I wish I could pet you. Maybe we need a sword. How dare you damage my sword even but a little bit, little Korok man. Get smacked in the face. For your b b petulance. I wish I could befriend you, fox. I mean you no harm. Oh, hey. A sword. Be gone. <laughs> I shall place you here. Alright, horse. We are going to go on a journey to do things. Alright, I think I've gotten the controls down. You can only really turn the horse and then it goes on autopilot. Are they fighting people? We can't let them die. Be gone! I have come to save you. Oh. I appreciate the help back there. <laughs> okay, thank you. We really need to get to safety. We're all right. We should count ourselves lucky for that. Damn right you should. I am your god and you shall thank me. I wonder if there's a way to de-rust swords. Emblazoned shield, but it's not really that good. Quit hoo-hooing me. Now, where did my horse go? 
I think it is about. Oh no, it's right there. You have not abandoned me. Good. Let's get a move on because we have to activate that tower because it's nearby and I want to. And then we'll see about doing other things. Why do you sound like a creaky, sick machine? Quit disobeying me. Become my friend. So that you obey me eternally. I am your friend. And you will obey me. I'm going to climb this because I can. Basically the motto of every person that plays an open world game. I do this because I can, and there's really nothing here, except mushrooms. Congratulations, you have scaled Mount Everest. Risk your life. Your reward, mushrooms. Here I come, horse. We shall leave those mushrooms for now. Although there is a lot of brush rooms that we require later on. Forward, my dear horse. Oh, I thought the light reflecting off of the the rock was a Motherfucker. Be exploded, fools. We have exploded the fools. Still disappointing that the key swarm isn't one shot. By that, I will make a note of you to go and do you after we take this. Or we could do that and then, since it's on the way. Let's be efficient, I guess. I shall swing at a bat and murder the man. Can I give a shout out to all the indie developers in general? The fact that they are able to make games with just a few people or just one person is fantastic. It is indeed. Whether it be big games or small games out there, it's just very nice that people can make games. And as you are wandering around the world of Hyrule, remember to stay hydrated or else you'll die like those merchant people almost were. Let's see what's in this shrine. If it's evil and will kill me. Or if we will conquer it. Or if it will conquer us. We need as many of the spirit orbs as that we can get. So that we can have much stamina and much everything. Trial of power. Let's see... Explosion of power. Hmm. Spike ball rolls down into the nothing. <laughs> Guess I'm good. <laughs> How nightmarish. They all come for your soul. Oh boy. <laughs> it's not good. Oh, they're here with to murder. Uh oh, that's not good at all. Oh, that's very bad. This is what I get for going off unprepared. I don't think acorns are really needed. 
or anything. Big Hans, hey. Mm. Ow! Why are they still spiky if they're not moving? And I shall eat some uncooked apples. I really should have cooked those by now. Yes, stand right there so I can pick you off. Because I know you can shoot lasers. But you are a melee man. Haha! -ha! And how much damage are you? You are very good damage. Goodbye. <laughs> you are now mine. Ah, we don't need that many woodcutter's axes, surely. And now I have super swords if I ever need them. Huzzah! Well, first things first, I'm going to grab you, just in case. Edge of Duality! All right, a curious double-edged sword crafted using Sheikah technology was originally made for Hyrulean knights unfamiliar of single-edged blades. All right, goodbye, rusted Claymore. You have been... Well, that's bad. I didn't mean to do that. You will be useful for me in the future. But fine, since I have uh, almost assuredly messed this up, I shall use a flame arrow as penance. In my penance, I shall use a flame arrow. And what else shall there be? I do find it funny that they're just like... Ah, uh, yeah, a basic, like, uh, basic dungeons don't need to worry much. And then, like, immediately they're like, surprise, the dungeons, the trials, they can be hard, you fool. That also reminds me that apparently the later, like, uh, the next game actually has dungeons. So that'll be interesting. To really experience. Damn it! I keep wanting to do that and I keep failing. Damn! Goodbye! I must heal. I'm a fool. I need to cook more. Experiment foods. Hmm. Ow. No, not that. Normal. Quit scurrying around like a demon. Not as good. But maybe I could use that. Hmm. Still, that's better than the Traveler's Sword. So let's try and beat up the remaining man. We shall first bomb. I need to get used to the combat again. It's just been so long since I played this game. And even then I wasn't like super good. I can already tell that you're evil. Bastard! What's below you? Death? Death indeed! Alright. I guess I probably could have just, like, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> My brain, like, for some reason, unassuming. Alright, what do you want? Do you, what do you? What magics do you possess? Movement controls? Yeah. 
I am movement. Through the power of movement, I am the victor. I completely forgot motion controls were in this game. An ancient core, very valuable. Resource. Mm, these long, sprawling hallways, they scare me for some reason. Hmm. All right. I think I have an idea of what we must do. A normal arrow can be set on fire. Blasting you. Darn. I think I have to kick it up. I'm gonna have this has to recharge. Darn thee. Darn thee recharge. I thought I had it smart, but I was in fact having it dumb. Open sesame, you fool. Make way for me to murder your day. And what do you be? Ah, money! My first money! I forgot money was in this game. Well, first things first, we shall probably want to do that. Bring out the uh, obligatory hammer. And uh, open the way of doom. How's well? But as we go along, I've been really enjoying Pokemon more again. I'll have to, like, restart. Well, not restart, but, like, continue my... Uh, Pokemon series playthrough. Because I beat Pokemon Crystal. But next I'll need to go on to uh, Pokemon Emerald. Which I really should get to someday. There are too many, like, uber-long games in the world that I want to get to. Why does it feel like you should give me, like, 15 Spirit Orbs for what I went through? Now, see, this is when the, like, the resourcefulness makes sense, because I did go through a lot to get this Spirit Orb. And I guess a bunch of other stuff, but still. Mainly this Spirit Orb. But now we shall go and unlock the tower. And then we shall see what else there is in the world. Then we'll probably try and make our way to Kakariko Village. I almost half expected him. Ooh, side quests, strange mask rumors, teleportation rumors, ancient mask, fairy clothes. Oh, fuck. <laughs> the enemies are around us. They call for my soul. <laughs> Ancient horse rumors. <laughs> Royal guard rumors. Merchant hood. Just a lot of side quests just unlocking. Garb of the winds. Usurper King. Hmm. <laughs> Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Hilarious. Hmm. Well, I guess I shall leave you, horse. Uh, bip, 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 bip. Patrolling Guardian. No, no. Patrolling Guardian. Go home. Oh. 
I should. Oh, that's not, that's not very nice at all. Oh, I, I thought it would uh, split into small choo-choos. How dare you. How, how dare you. Give me your choo-choo jelly. And now as everyone does farm... Why actually cut down trees when one can bomb? Yep. And now I believe that you are asking for an apple. So apple. Hey apple. Apple. Have apple. Were you just waiting here for somebody to put an apple here? You are a weird child. Hmm. There's at least one that will try to kill me. Nope, there are a lot of them that will try to kill me. Well, this is very bad, but I want to do this one. Maybe I have the perfect angle for the most part. If I just climb this side, maybe I'll be able to be safe. For the most part. Dang it. I'm a fool. ba 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 Darn you. You see nothing. Not seen at all. Eh, eh. Run, Link! Run for your life! Why do you exist here? You monsters. It's like these guardians knew. Just like there's gonna be some twink. In a hundred years, that's gonna come here. Let's bury ourselves in the rock just enough to make this a pain in the ass for him. You monsters are monstrous. Whew. Not as scary as I initially thought it would be. But still, quite scary. I activate you, tower. Give me your soul. Granted, if I was a badass, I could have destroyed them. And I would have been able to do this without hassle. But I am not a badass. I am a fool. And there is a big difference. I have now unlocked this teleporter. And this information. But what if I want to drink the information? Beam it directly into my brain and not a Sheikah slate. Regional map extracted. Sheikah slate update. Additional functionality detected. Really? Sheikah sensor! Ah, now we know if we're near a shrine. Nice. In case that gets annoying, you can turn it on and off. Blink, blink. The shrines by moving the direction of the strongest signal. And now we can just look all over the place. But, of course, we'll head that way and kind of loop around in there to where we need to go. Now let's flee! <laughs> Pr 
persistent, aren't you? Why must you exist? Nature shall thwart you, asshole! He's just like, I see you. I see you. I'm gonna kill you. Ooh, that's a very good shield. Which one I want? A bacoblin shield or a soldier shield? Whichever could I choose to have. And more money! I'm gonna need all of that that I can get, more than likely. That I can only assume. <whistles> Unfortunately, my horse does not know me. It was just a random horse that I found. And thus, my horse does not love me. It is not even my horse. But, but while we're here, we can do... Gardening. Unfortunately, these are my only swords right now. Oh, fairy! Neat. I wonder if I could cook it into anything. Well, now I want to do all the gardening in the world. I can... How many fairies are just in the grass? How many fairies are just here, along with crickets? Come out, fairies. I know you're here. I have two of your friends. Come be my friend and sacrifice yourself for my well-being. You know what all friends do. And a lizard. Gardening. Link style. Well, the air has turned in rather... Evil. Give me a cricket, you are mine. How is it that I found, like, two fairies back to back? And right as I was about to talk about it, he decided, like, fine, here, have another one. Now I am borderline immortal! Ha 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 ha! And obviously that means I'm going to lose them in the dumbest ways possible. I wonder if there's like an algorithm that's like, give them a fairy every this kind of amount of times. It's just very interesting. Somehow this banner is not just super destroyed. Considering it's just out here. You think it would have fallen and just died by now? I wonder what the appropriate way of getting the bees are. I wonder if I can freeze the bees. I can freeze the bees. Done. That doesn't do much. Except, like, distract the bees. Ow. I almost killed myself and wasted my... Wasted my shit. But I got more honey, and that's what matters. I almost killed myself for some honey. Don't mess with me. I'm insane, man. I doubt there's really anything important in this place, except more apples that I could just take. These apples are mine. Climb tree like master. Hmm. I see you. Come forth. Give me your soul. Your soul is mine. There's probably just a rock here I'm supposed to throw in there, isn't there?
Even if I must destroy a tree for a single apple, I will do so a million times. Done. I thought you were a rock that I could throw. How dare you exist and not be a rock. I will not kill you, Fox. Ghost of Tsushima has rubbed off on me too much. We will fix this fairy circle. It may not look pretty, but it will be fixed. Why? Because we need Korok seeds. So that we can level up. And kill people more efficiently. Give me your wallet, little man. Give me your soul. That is a cook thing. I can cook all my apples into health. Boom! How dare you hit me and knock me down. Monster! Unlock your powers, dear chest, and hold a thousand rupees for me. Give me your guts. Well, first things first, I should probably cook up all my apples. Are they the enemies? So I can tick them off just by doing... Nope, nope. That's not what I wanted. I am a fool. Somehow the controls still elude me. Well, that is one way of doing it, apparently. And I shall now cook these apples. And I shall cook multiple of these. So that I might be able to heal myself efficiently. Although I do kind of wish that I could select multiple, like, amounts of this dish I would like to make. Mass produce. But oh well. And, I, and it looks like I completely missed a... The shrine that I was originally aiming for. An extra shrine that we were aiming for, at least. Shall eat these two apples alone. Although... No one loves you. The explosion of the... Skeleton... Almost sounded like a monster was rising up behind me. Yes, I know. There's a shrine nearby. I'm running towards it. Because I don't have a horse yet. Squink, squonk. Squink, squonk. I wonder what that is. Then I can't see it over the hill, even though I can see it over the hill. Hmm, what is that? A horse outpost, it seems. I don't love you. Go home. We. I could go for a bite. Yeah. Ah, customer. Are you traveling alone? This in guts. Fool marks for beauty. So I highly recommend taking a rest here. The river here makes for some lovely scenery. If you head in northeast from here, you'll find the Millennial Sun Bar. 
The scenery there is even every bit as lovely as the scenery here. I'm something of a connoisseur of beauty, you see. I simply cannot resist a beautiful sight. I try to exude this in all things, not least of all my own beautiful appearance. Speaking of, has anyone ever told you you have the most beautiful treasures? I do have many fond memories of this beautiful land. If you have the time, would you indulge me? Sure. Oh, you would. Even more beautiful on the inside. Now, let's see. If you head north uh, through Hyrule Field, you'll see the castle surrounded by that foul aura. It has long been a den of monsters, but it's been in its glory days. It was surely a thing of wondrous beauty. It was then in that very castle that those very days that my ancestor, my grandfather's grandfather, I believe, anyway, he worked as the castle's appointed chef. I wouldn't believe it myself. Oh, how I wonder what sorts of cuisine members of the royal court enjoyed enjoyed in those good old days. As a child, I would often suffer meager meals, all while dreaming of the beautiful dishes that might have graced my plate. Oh, if only things had been different. Gourmet spiced meat, seafood curry, mushroom risotto, egg pudding. Oh my, I think I'm salivating, and it's the pursuit of those childhood dreams that explains the fabulous body you see here. These days I enjoy my time working at these stables, sharing my tales of beauty of any traveler willing to listen. But I still wonder what could have been. Anyways, excuse me, I seem to have caught myself prattling on. But looking upon your perfectly symmetrical face and discussing meals of beauty has rekindled my desire. If you should happen to set foot inside Hyrule Castle, could you find it in you to f keep an eye out for a cookbook? There must have been one lying around somewhere in there. I'm simply dying to finally sample the food of the royal cook. Hey, I don't believe I've made your acquaintance. The name's Beetle, but you can call me a... Actually, let's stick with Beetle. I'm... But even if you forget my face, you can remember me by my beetle-shaped backpack. Wow. wow! Despite these dangerous times, you'll find me traveling all over Hyrule to fulfill your shopping needs. I stock many special bugs and must-have items for travelers, and I always charge a fair price, or my name's not Beetle. He even has his face there, just hanging out from, like, a fishing rod. I also buy all sorts of things. If you're in need of rupees, gemstones are particular fit a high price. How can I help you? Nothing that I really want. Especially because they're expensive. I could bother this person if I wanted. A very interesting design, this place. Wake up, person! Hey, you got some gall waking... Eating up a sleeping stranger, show some respect. I'm sleepy, go away. What if I kept bothering you? How dare you not recognize my superiority to you? Ah, another woodcutter's axe. But of course, we shall do this diddly -dy trial. And then we shall head off to. The actual place that we want to go activate this because we are being hounded by Keese all of a sudden. Thankfully, they have ceased in their movement, but they shall not get me. No, they shall not. I go underground now. Ha ha, fools. I am beyond your reckoning. What kind of one is this? Metal connections. So it's just like, make stairs. Go. Well, actually, I think you need to stay there so I can actually climb properly. Give me your power, dear chest. Just drag them along. <laughs> Suffer my power, my ingenuity. I have unlocked the ability of doing a thing, apparently.
And darn, my tower has fall. And we'll just try and make a suitable tower. Oh, I know. I'll probably need to make the tower next up to the wall. And then use that to, like, uh... Get on up there. Make a mini bridge. Come to me, you metal box. This is a very simple challenge, and I shall be its victor. Carefully move it. And now open sesame. Well, darn, that almost worked. Come on, stay up there and wait for me. <laughs> I have attained your soul, big hat person. Now give it to me. Give me your soul. Link hungers for your soul. And now I'm halfway there to another upgrade. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, I wonder what the maximum upgrades you can have. Like the maximum stamina if you just like took all of the spirit orbs and placed them all into stamina. If that's even possible. But now we need to make our way through there. Probably through there and on the other side. We can make it. Hello, person. I may not look like it, but I'm a plum doctor. Well, I can even teach you how to make your own medicine. Nothing fancy, mind. The basic idea here is just mix up insects with monster parts. Experiment a little and see what you end up with. So in a... A scientific method man. I haven't seen your face before. Do you know of the stable system? I don't. Then allow me to explain. You can board your horse companions with us and then summon them as you please from our network of stables. You may have come across wild horses during your travels. If you catch one and ride it here to register it, it will become a horse companion. Each one, each one person can board up to five horses and you're able to swap horses in and out as you please. He is catching horses. Okay, to catch one, you have to do is approach from him slowly. If it doesn't hurt you, then hop on. But these are wild animals we're talking about, so if the horse you're riding starts acting up, try soothing it. It'll eventually settle down, and uh, when that happens, bring it to me. It may take a while for wild horses to get used to being ridden. They may change directions or slow down on their own until you earn their trust and respect. If your horse disobeys your direction, you'll want to gently redirect it and then calm it. If you continue interacting that way, your horse will naturally begin to trust you and become more obedient. That's all I can tell you it's about the subject, stranger. I shall try and find a horse sometime. Too bad I can't steal that guy's horse. Wouldn't that be fantastic? I'm a doctor. I shove him off his horse right in front of the stables. I want to register this horse. But you just stole it from that man. I want to register this horse. Dang. And I heard you, didn't I? Whoa! How dare you try and shoot me. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Now summon thyself, spirit, and give me your soul. Mm, a bunch of these. I will take them. I will upgrade them. I will eat them. Devour their souls. Come to me, fireflies. My favorite cancelled show. Hmm, that feels like it's too big of a camp that I want to deal with right now. Hmm, rickety bridge. I'm surprised there's not a troll toll. Another monster outpost, it seems. I mean, I do have fairies, I suppose. What be you? A silent shroom. Oh. Just an ugly fool trying to eat me. Well, if I want to, I could just... I have the arrows to do. Kaboom! And somehow not all of them are dead. Why are you doing that, you asshole? I just want to climb. Come on. He's having multiple heart attacks. Hmm. Come on. How dare they do this to me? Oh, it's because they want me to climb that and s s swing Mon down. Gotcha. Hmm. You fool, you're the only ones left. And we just gotta slowly climb this. Profound sadness. Slow climb the Tower of Doom. Instead of just being able to climb that and move my hands a bit. Quit making noise and soon you will die. Damn you. I was almost there. How dare you do this to me? In fact, I could... Darn. How dare the game make me suffer? Actually. I can just, like, do this. That's, like, a first idea. Use that to... Boost my... Darn. How dare you not let me climb you. How dare they put it on a slope to make this harder for me. Don't they believe in being good people? Come on, game. You know what I want to do. Let me do what I want do game with my clunky bullshit. Oh, double bullshit. Don weather. I'm trying to be a finagler. All right, that was on me. 
Come on, stamina. You're supposed to respawn instantly and make me a god. Come on, why can I sometimes instantly and other times not bring out my bullshit? Don the game. Aha! And now we should be able to get there, swing on down, kill them, and get like nothing for it. My investment skills are legendary! Of course, there's whatever the hell's going on over there, too. But who cares about what's going on over there? These are people we can kill. For a certain word of people. They respawn, and that's just not natural. Huzzah. Now, not be worth it. Not really worth it. How dare you hit me with things? That's not your role in this story. You're supposed to stand there and be a fool. Be gone. We shall drop the basic and pick up the better. Yeah, on the one hand, it's probably a good uh, a good thing that I smacked the other ones to hell with, like, just, like, everything. Because all of them shooting at me probably would have killed me and wasted my beloved fairies. I can't waste my fairies, could I? I probably don't need to do this, but I want to. Yeah, definitely not needed, but... Begone, Satan! Well, what's the point? They are blocking away to that. Well, what's the point? I don't get it. I'm probably being a fool, but oh well. Fear me, dear, for I am a fool. I don't want to deal with you, choo-choo jellies. Hmm. I probably should have looked around while I was up there to be like, hmm, where am I going again? What did I snicker-snap? Give me some iron shroom, some erasure shroom, some shroom shroom. Hmm, I'll move to the spear then for combat. We'll go there, activate that, and then be on our proper way. Be gone, birds. I'm... Going through a town that has died. Well, this is a shit well. How about of a well did you have to start with for 100 years to turn it into just... Like, a stone circle. I see a raft, and it's already floating away. Object permanence, man. You, you acknowledge a raft for one second, and it decides to leave. Ah, treasure chest. I open thee. 
A Korok leaf. I do not need thee. Why would somebody put a leaf in a treasure chest? You know nothing. Remember, kids, you never lose stamina if you just hold still. I wonder when he'll see me. How dumb are you? I will wait here. And then he turns his back, I shall smack him. And then light his friends on fire. Look away, young man. Look away. Fine, then. He refused to look away, so I killed him. Of course, that is the appropriate response. <laughs> That's definitely not the appropriate response. It was me! I killed your friends! And now you are dead too! Oh, the swords will be mine! Boom! And that's how you get baked apples. There seems to be fools here, as well as I think, like a smashable. We must smash the smashable so that we too can be smashing. Hey, I, why didn't you grab immediately, you stupid link? Pay me five billion dollars restitution. I mean, it's about to break, but at the same time I should be saving it to deal damage. That's the wrong way to do it. Be gone and fly into the air. I shall take your stake and your life, little man. It is me, your friend. Now, where are your organs? Or did they all fall into the river? I think they all fell into the river. Not the delicious organs. But at least... Apples. Bring me the apples, for they are mine. And I don't think this, like, place even has, like, a congratulations, you won the day, victory place. It's like, I guess, <laughs> access to the tower is its own victory, I suppose. Ah, there's a cave down there. I'm gonna have to go there. It's not, like, super important, but meh. Yes, yes, I know. Maybe I don't know. I think I know. Activate the world tree, Jimmy. And then Hyrule will become one of the nine realms. Would you like to see Link fight Kratos? 
Who would win? No one knows. Activate the tower. Activate its beauty. Activate the cheat function that gives me five billion dollars. And now the map will be... Give me the knowledge droplet. The sustenance of knowledge. Now give me my tablet back. But now we shall gently float down to the cave. To the cave I go. Here I come. Mwahaha. And what is ever in the cave will be mine! It's just another bloody spear! No! I will use the hammer instead to mine! I forget the, the meme song. That was like mining diamonds. Slam! Slam jam. Make your ma'am. I will at least try to get to Kakariko Village. Or at least right in front of it. And then we will stop, since we've been going for a decent amount of time. And we've made a decent amount of progress. Which is always nice. Yes, I know there's probably like a, 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 a shrine above me. Atop the cliff of Dover. I know. Higgledy piggledy diddly dee. Off we go across the sea. And oh. Just a random shrine. Well alright then. We'll do this shrine I suppose. Unless it kicks my ass. And then we will head to Kakariko Village. Let's -a go. What will it be? Will it be combat? Will it be puzzle? Will it be pain? Ah, some kind of puzzle. Feed me. Go forth! Maybe we can use you for things. Extortion, maybe. Damn you! There we go. Magic. I'm going to assume the next platform will be heading this way. Nope, it was right there. I am the Fool Man! Come back to me and my ball. My ball. It wants to be fulfilled. I was about to run about, but then I realized that would probably kill me. Get hit! Mm. 
Wrong thing, I want to. Magnesis. See if I can use these to get that treasure chest. This treasure chest will be mine. It'll hold nothing of value, but it will be mine. Motherfucker, my treasures. You slut. Link doing a jig. Damn you. I have been le fuck. I mean, unless I can, like, use this to knock it off. That, that's one way of doing it, probably. Here, treasure chesty. Come on, be a physics object. Be the physics object you always wanted to be. How dare they put something here that is pain. Then again, I could probably use these to activate this and knock it up, so, meh. Darn. Activate the bibbity bob. You motherfucker. Be a physics, but only when I want you to be. But now that ball is lost forever. And now you are mine. I got the Clamors Band Banner. Huzzah. The climber's banana will save the day, oh no. What if I just shot you? That probably can work. Potentially, it can work. It's a waste of arrows, but it can work. Arrows are pointless. Spite against the shrine is eternal. And I'm the victor. And now the orb is mine. Give me all the orbs. All the orbs are mine. And now we can make our way to Kekrika Village. Explosion. Give me your soul, treasure chest. It's another bow that I can actually have. Yay. I wonder what, like, the longest distance you can run with just, like, uh, the bibbity bop upgrades. The stamina. Oh dear god, that's a lot of motherfuckers.
Nobody loves you. Go into the fire. And now all of them are dead. Give me your souls, give me your souls. Hmm, there's a traveler over there. Maybe we will say hello after we grab this. P a fucking boomerang, no thank you. Man, wait for me. I come bearing greetings of obsession. I wish to speak with them. Sprecken, even. Huh? What's your problem? You look real salty. Wait, is that what you're after? Well, you're in luck. I sell rock salt and meat. I tell you what. I tell you what. They do grow great together. I uh, carry only the finest meats. I'll buy some meat. Sure, why not? And then I'll say no. Like I swear, he actually sounds like Hank Hill. And there's a stable that we can stop at. And it's right next to a shrine we can begin next time with, too. You're not real. Skeletons aren't real. They can't hurt you. Why are they all? Every last one of them. Like, just jerks. How dare they exist in my world. A rusty shield, but it's made of rust. Well, hello, person. What are you doing here? In the middle of the night. Good evening. Don't see a whole lot of tra travelers passing through. You know, with peace, uh, with how peaceful it is around here, it's sometimes easy to forget the world has almost ended years ago. But there's still monsters wandering around, and the area near Hyrule Castle is especially dangerous. If you're going to be traveling, you should know a thing about elixirs. What are they? You can make elixirs by mixing bugs and other small creatures with monster parts. Most of them are no good for refilling your health, but they can have a lot of unique effects. Some elixirs can increase your speed, others can raise your resistance to extreme temperatures. I'm actually impressed that you've made it this far without knowing any knowledge of elixirs. I can't have it on my conscience if something happens to you from here, so I'll give you one of mine. Thank you. Using a hasty elixir increases your run speed, so I use it to escape from enemies or any time I need to hurry. The recipe is just high-tail lizard and monster parts, so I usually have a stock of ten or so on hand. But next time, we can begin with doing this. Yeah. <laughs> Breath of the Wild is a lot of fun. It's just a lot of fun. Open world Zelda, people thought it wouldn't work, and now look where we are. It's working good. But that shall be it for now, because we've been going for a decent amount of time. It's easy to lose yourself in these games when they're good. In a bad video game, you're just like, oh, when will it be over? But with a good video game, it'll just go on forever. And you won't even notice. But thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I have two YouTube channels. An edited content YouTube channel that I swear content is coming eventually. And then a streaming channel, Neon Icy Wing, or not Neon Icy Wings, that's the edited content channel. But the gaming channel, the streaming channel, is Neon Icy Games, where I stream and upload everything, so bibbidi-bah. 
so you can watch me play various games like the Ace Attorney Trilogy. I've beaten two of the games there. And like the Mass Effect Trilogy, I beat all the games there. And Undertale and just a whole bunch of games. But uh, if you prefer to watch on Twitch, it is, I also stream on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings. And then if you want little things from me, like my art, similar to my avatar on the corner, you can follow me on various social medias like Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Inkblot, all of them. Because all of them exist and drain your soul. And you can find links to them through my link tree, which is in any, like, bio, description, or link place that can exist. But it is linktr.ee slash neonicywings. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye! Bye.